In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus Christos Nika, Jesus Christ vanquishes, Jesus victorious. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy. The Lord rebukes you, O devil, for he came into the world who dwelt among men in order to shatter your tyranny and free mankind hanging on the cross. He triumphed over all the hostile powers when the sun was darkened and the earth was shaken. When the graves were open and the bodies of the saints rose, he destroyed death by death and ordered you, O devil, who had the power of death. I adjure you in the name of God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit who revealed the tree of life and appointed the cherubim and the fiery sword that turns each way to guard it. Be rebuked and depart from every place you are in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. For I adjure you in the name of him who walked on the water as if on dry land and calmed the tempest, whose look dries up the abyss, whose threatening makes the mountains melt away. It is this same Lord who now commands you through us, Fear, come out, depart from this human beings, and never return, nor abide in him or her, neither meet nor act upon them, not by night or by day, not at dawn or at noontime, but depart to your own darkness until the appointed day of judgment. Fear God, who sits upon the cherubim, looks down into the abyss, before whom tremble angels, archangels, thrones, dominions, principalities, authorities, powers, the many-eyed cherubim and the six-winged seraphim, before whom tremble the heavens and the earth, the sea and all that is in them, come out and depart from these soldiers, these newly enlisted in Christ in orthodoxy and all orthodox Christians. Depart from these soldiers of Christ, Christ our God, for they have been marked with the sign of the Holy Cross and newly enlisted. For it is in his name that I adjure you, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The name of the Lord who walks upon the wings of the wind, who makes his angels spirits, his ministers a flaming fire. Come out and depart from these human beings and from every place you are, from every place you hide, with all your power and all your angels, for the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit is glorified, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. God, the Holy, the Fearful, the Glorious, incomprehensible and inscrutable in all his works and all his might, who ordained for you, O devil, the punishment of eternal torment through us, his unworthy priest, orders you and all the powers that work with you to depart from him and her and from every person, place, and object in every place and those who have been newly sealed in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, our true God. Therefore, I adjure you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, most wicked, impure, abominable, lonesome alien spirit, Come out of this man and woman and never again enter into them. Depart, admit the vanity of your power, which could not even control a herd of swine. Remember him who at your own request commanded you to enter into the herd of swine. Fear God, by whose command the earth was made firm and the waters, who made the heavens, who also weighted the mountains in the balance, and the valleys on a pair of scales, as according to Isaiah the prophet, chapter 40, verse 12, who placed the sand as a boundary to the sea and safe path in the raging waters, who makes the mountains smoke at his touch, who clothes himself with light as with a garment, who covers over his lofty dwellings with waters, who laid the foundations of the earth so secure that it should never be shaken from them, who lifts up the water and the sea and returns it as rain upon the face of the earth. Come out and depart from him and her in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, for it is he, God the Father, who commands you. God himself, the Son, commands you, and God the Holy Spirit commands you. Now 
depart from those who are preparing for holy illumination and orthodoxy, I adjure you by the saving passion of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, and by his sacred body and blood, and his awesome return, for he shall come without delay to judge all the earth, and shall assign you, and those with you, and all the powers working with you, to the fires of hell, having delivered you to the outer darkness, where the worm constantly devours, and the fire never is extinguished, for the power belongs to Christ our God, together with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy. Most Holy Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all of the holy saints, let us pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. O Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, who heal every illness and every infirmity, look upon these your servants, those who are baptized and chrismated orthodox. Seek out, examine, and expel from them all the workings of the devil. Rebuke the impure spirits and banish them and cleanse the works of your hands. By your swift action, crush Satan under their feet and grant to them victory over the devil and his impure spirits so that having received your mercy, they may become worthy of your immortal and heavenly mysteries of the Holy Orthodox Church, the precious body and blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, and may give glory to you, to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Almighty God bless you, heal you, save you, preserve you, and protect you, and bring you to everlasting life, in his one true historical Orthodox Church on the old calendar. Amen.